Fernando, your first days in red, what is your feeling? Ah, feeling is fantastic. I've been here in Madonna di Campiglio for this Brun event uh, a few days now. Uh, I would like to, to thank Philip Morris for this type of uh, events because it's something unique that uh, only with Ferrari you can experience these days of uh, um, being with the teams, uh, with uh, Giancarlo, with Felipe, with more staff from Ferrari. And uh, we've been doing some, some fun uh, skiing and uh, some, some kind of uh, job as well. So at the moment, great atmosphere, great start of the year and, uh, you know, very, very happy. In the past weeks, have you been in touch with the team? What, what do you know about the new car? Yeah, of course, I've been in touch, uh, especially with my race engineer. Uh, nearly every two or three days, uh, we, we send some, some emails and uh, some uh, telephone calls as well to, to prepare the, the pre-season uh, test. Uh, obviously, they want to, to have as much as information from me, uh, from my my feelings and my requirements from the team and uh, I want also some information about the car because we are all uh, a little bit stressed, we want to drive the car and we want to, to have a good car so we, we are in touch. No rules, no refueling, uh, how do you think the races will change in 2010? I think not much change to be honest, uh, the no refueling, I think the strategies will be very similar for all the teams, maybe the the most important thing is to, to work uh, with uh, the partnerships and uh, in our case with Shell to, to have a fuel that is uh, efficient, that uh, we can uh, uh, have as less fuel as possible to start the race because the quantity will be very high. And we are very confident. I think uh, Shell and Ferrari are uh, um, working together for a very, very long time. And, uh, you know, I think uh, we can have a, a very competitive package on that uh, aspect. Do you feel the pressure from the supporters, the Ferrari one and your personal one? I think the expectations are very high, no doubt. Uh, especially in my case, uh, uh, to be honest, uh, we've been talking about uh, uh, Ferrari Alonso for uh, the last three or four years. And uh, I've been answering questions about Ferrari for the last three or four years. And now final, finally I'm here. So for sure, the 2010, everybody's expecting a lot from, from us. And uh, we are ready for the challenge. Uh, we know that uh, we are one of the favorites, but um, we respect everybody, but we will do our best. A new teammate, Felipe Massa, who is he for you? Uh, Felipe is uh, a great teammate for me, first of all, because I think uh, uh, he's a Latin character like me. He's uh, speaking Italian uh, with me, so the communication is, is very fluid. And also I think Felipe has been in Ferrari for the, for the last four or five years and this is very important for me. When you arrive to a new team, it's important that your teammate is not also new in the team because uh, you can be a little bit lost with the te technical people, etc. So with Felipe and the experience that he has, he can help me a lot and uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy and really looking forward to work with him. So you're not scared that uh, two Latin drivers in a Latin team uh, can struggle? No, I don't think so. I think uh, this is uh, this is perfect combination because uh, the the people in Maranello, the people, all our technical staff, are uh, very passionate about Formula One, about motor racing, and this is the history of Ferrari. So, you know, to have two Latin drivers uh, with also the character, with also the the, the 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 emotion and the passion for for driving like Felipe and me, I think will be a great. Uh, great combination and we will see in the next few years. There was a big news in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, Michael Schumacher is coming back to Formula One. What do you think about it? Well, I think Michael uh, come back is great. First of all, for the sport, because uh, the 2010 championship will be very, very interesting for the people outside. Uh, the media attention is, is very big now with Michael in the, in the championship. And this is good. After uh, 2009, that was so so for the for the Formula One and for our sport. I, I think in 2010 we can uh, uh, come back to our uh, highest level of uh, of uh, worldwide uh, communication. So I think this is good. And um, for us, I think it doesn't change too much. Uh, maybe for the team, uh, after being so many years in Ferrari, now we want to beat him. More enjoying to beat uh, Hamilton or Schumacher. I think both. Obviously, when you win a race, uh, you don't think in any particular name. 
but uh, for sure uh, with uh, Luis in Ferrari, in McLaren, with uh, Michael in Mercedes, I think we have great challenges uh, this year to beat and um, good motivations because uh, we want to be the best. And uh, if we want to be the best, we want to be. We need to be the best drivers in the best cars. And uh, I think we are confident that we can do it. And uh, I'm I'm happy and motivated. There will be a new point system, and there are, there are talks about giving points to the pole position or to the fastest lap. W what is your opinion about it? Well, it's difficult always to say, but obviously the pole position is is very important, and uh, we feel a lot of uh, fun when you when you are on pole uh, you are so happy and for sure if you have something more than that if you have a couple of points or one point will be also great same thing for the fastest lap of the race it can be a good motivation also to to have some some kind of points uh, but at the end uh, we are drivers we let uh, the people that uh, they know how to do it and um, we drive the car and everything will be okay for us Two typical questions for uh, the beginning of the season. Who do you think are the favorites for the championship? And what is your target for this season? Yeah, favorites, I think, for 2010 is not easy. After the 2009 uh, mix we had in the, in the overall uh, performance of the cars, uh, I think for 2010 it's not easy at all uh, to see favorites. But for sure, Red Bull, uh, McLaren, Mercedes Grand Prix, Ferrari uh, are the, the four main favorites. The good thing is that I think we are in, in that group and uh, we see, but uh, I, I think we need to wait for the winter test to, to have a, a better picture. And your target? Target is only one, winning the, the World Championship. Thank you.